A good basketball game for this time of year. We learned an awful lot from it. Um, I had some suspicions of where we were weak, and they, uh, they were confirmed tonight. So we'll learn a lot from this game. Credit to North Carolina for winning this, um, and we'll, hopefully we'll grow from it. Rick, down here, Rick. You said you, had, you learned where you were weak. Where, where, where are you weak? Well, I, I, we're very weak at the five spot right now. We're very weak at the three spot. We're not getting a whole lot. We're not getting a whole lot out of a front court right now. Um, and our back court has got to create more assists um, to get them to play better. Um, but I, I think this is a very inexperienced team that will learn an awful lot. I think this was a very good lesson for them because we won last year. We were national champions because our defense was tops in the nation. And it's quite evident tonight that this is not the same team defensively uh, as we had last year. So we miss Gorky Zhang's presence present inside. And we certainly are not very good defensively at the three, four, and five spot. Looked like you might have tried a little zone or more of that look than we saw all year. Uh, how did that go? And, and you know, it, it really didn't hurt. Whether it was zone or man, we kept getting beat off the dribble. Um, and you can't do that. And then when you're forced to rotate, the new rules make you rotate quite a bit. So you've got to have people from the weak side rebound the ball. And we're not, you know, we had uh, starting three and five grab two rebounds in major minutes. And actually, Mango didn't grab a defensive rebound. So it hurts you a little bit when you have to rotate so much you're not fouling. And with pressing them, it's always tough with their guards. But uh, did you think you might wear them down a little bit, or were you just hoping? Well, I think fouling stops you from wearing people out. But they, they really started hurting us on runouts. You know, they're a basket-hanging team. You know, they'll, they'll be in the backcourt. One time, they got to even cross half court. And that's a lot of confidence in your rebounding. Coach, it was a, a three-point game when Harrell got his fourth foul. Um, can you just talk about how his foul trouble affected the, uh, you guys? In well, they, you know, they weren't good fouls, especially the fifth one. I mean, there were two people open, or you go around them. You know, you don't try to, to pull a Michael Jordan at that point. Coach, you talked a little bit. Uh, we had down here. We had Russ. Uh, Russ was in the locker room talking about how he's experienced losing before, but a lot of the younger guys aren't aren't used to that. What do you then do after a game like this in, in practice and talking to those guys? Well, you just go back. You know, I really think I don't believe in good losses. I like to learn in victory, but I think we have the potential to be a good team, and I think this loss is really good for us tonight. I think that we won last year because we were the most humble. I thought we were, forgetting about hard working, all teams work hard. I thought we were one of the most humble teams. To win 16 in a row, you have to have great humility, not get stuck on yourselves. And, and you know, this type of defense is a lack of humility. That's all I can come up with because they want to work, they're good guys, but it's a lack of humility of not understanding where they're not good. And I, I thought Peyton and Gorky led the, the team last year with great humility, both, both guys. And we missed them. Well, and, and you're talking a lot about defense. I know that's something you really like to focus on. But the offense, really, outside of Russ and, and maybe Chris Jones at times, really struggled to find ways to score. How can you get those guys in better positions? Well, I think we missed about seven, eight layups in the game. You know, wide open. We're at the, I think Luke missed two. I think Russ missed two. I think Chris Jones missed four. I think Montrez missed two or three. I think Kevin missed. You know, it showed me tonight that Kevin's not back because he would have dunked that ball easily. He had a wide open layup. So, you know, I don't agree with the offense because I think we missed 10 layups. And anytime you can get to the front of the rim with a layup, that's pretty good. I, I think if you put 10 layups into this stat, I think you'd see a different team. So, I don't. Th I, I think it was total, totally the defense. I don't think it had anything to do with the offense. 